Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. This is Miss Carr and welcome to Learning Physics. So now we are going to navigate the wave on a string simulation. And by the way, if you don't have the application on your iPad or on your mobile phone, you can search the wave on a string for FET for your online browsing. So let's get started. So let us search here, wave on a string. FET. So muna ni siyang search ni Miss in order for her to use the online simulation. Okay, so just click the first option and wait for it to load. And amuna siya ang makita natin if amuto siya. Of course, ang atong napiliyon. And if you are using your laptop and if you're having trouble with a slow internet connection, you can download this simulation. Just click the download button here. Okay, pero if wala kang gamit laptop, so online gid kita. So just simply click the play button here for the online browsing for the simulation. There. And this will lead you to the wave on a string simulation. Here it is. Okay, so amun ni siya ang aton nga makita sa aton nga simulation. And by the way, amun ni siya ang link ha. Amun ni siya ang aton nga link for online browsing. Now let's go and take a look on what can we use on this simulation. And paano to ni siya i-manipulate. Okay, so we have here the option on the upper left side. Upper left, so we have the manual, the oscillate, and the pulse. So of course, maghamba kita manual, kita mismo ang mamove sa object so that the waves are created. Okay, and for the oscillate, so we have here the oscillator. So, this will automatically um, give us the wave. So, ano siya. And for the pulse, just simply click the green button here. Okay, para ma-create natin ang wave. Okay, now on the upper right naman, we have here the fixed end. So, for the fixed end, gamitin natin si oscillate para sa gisigya itong nga wave. For the fixed end naman, of course, if we're going to take a look here, at the end of the string, naga undugi dya or may naga uyat dya sa aton nga string. So, fixed end na siya. Now, for the loose end, we have here the pole and then we have here the ring. So, amun na siyang iyang itsura. And for the no end, oh, nira kita dira sang bintana, dira lang siya na yun ang aton nga no? Nagalusot lang ang aton yung wave. Okay. Now, if you want to see um, the slow motion of the wave, so, pindutun lang diri si slow motion. Okay. So, there. Para mas maatahagan mo kung anugid bala ang nagkakatabo sa mga waves nga ini. So, nami siya kung nantawo na ton nga nag-slow mo. And also, for example, gusto mo ya ma-determine or gusto mo ya i-pause ang movement sa wave. So, pwede lang ni siya nga ipindutun mo mandiri ang pause. Okay. So, ano na siyang kakatabo da? I-pause mo siya. At least, makaruhan mo siya. Okay. So, there. Pwede mo lang siya ma-pause. And if you want to continue, o oh, i-play lang siya da yun. Okay. Next, we have here the different adjustments below. So, balik kita kay manual. So, kay manual, kung lantawunta, we have the damping and the tension. So, duwa lang niya i-adjustment sa dalom. So, kung i-adjust na si damping, munta siya taas ang i-damping, o do ka medyo bugat para sa wave na mag-reach sa punta. Diba? O, do nagabugat siya. O, kung lantawon siya naton. Okay, so of course, kung nubuon siya ang damping, there. Okay, so, taas gihapon ang aton na wave. 
Next, for the tension, so we have here the high tension. Okay, please take a look sa mga beads, beads to plus ato ng string. So, what's the difference kung ilaw tension pa na siya? Okay. Kung low tension siya, okay, that's, hindi tayo siya pag slow mo. Kung low tension siya, kung lang tawon tang iya da mga beads o duga, duga bululukad, dira siya. Sa mo na siya, ang iyang adjustment sa manual. For the oscillate, nagdugang kita amplitude and the frequency. So, of course, if you want high amplitude, just Drag it to the right. If you want low amplitude, going to the left. Same with the frequency. If you want uh, more frequency, there, greater frequency, just drag it to the right. If, okay. No, but lang value ka frequency, drag it to the left. And for the pulse naman, so ang naglain sa pulse is, instead of having the adjustment for frequency, ang pulse width naman di siya ang atong niya gin, lakin. So ano ay han kalapad ng atong niya? Pulse width. Amo naman na siya ang atong niya ginalantaw here in our adjustment. And by the way, we have here the follow, following rulers. Of, for the vertical measurement and for the horizontal measurement. Okay, para kung gusto mo makitaan kung ano kalapag or ano kataas ang aton niya waves, at least you can use there the ruler. The rulers. There. And if you want to know um, the amount of time uh, para antes makaabot ang aton niya waves sa punta, you can use here the timer. Okay, and for the reference line, you can use this reference line. Okay. O, pwede mo na siya ma-adjust. Depende kung di in siya naka-plast, hindi mo siya i-plastar. Okay. So, there. And if you want to, if you want to, of course, to restart the whole activity, you can press this. Ang arrow, bala nga may gapabilogin mo. Nan, para i-restart na ito ng ito niya. Um, simulation activity. Okay, so there. And that's all for our Wave on a String simulation. And I hope that you understand on how to use it. And I hope that this will be helpful for you to can easily understand the concepts on Wave. Um, I hope that this will help you again. Okay, this is, of course, this is very important for all of us knowing that we cannot have an actual activity, so we are going to use more on the simulation. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day!